Joining me now is Arkansas Senator Tom Cotton. Senator, um, you called out uh, Attorney General uh, Merrick Garland for his inaction on this issue of providing real security to the justices. So what should happen here? Well, Laura, there's a lot of things that should happen. First off, Chuck Schumer uh, should go out and apologize for encouraging Democratic street militias to target the homes of Supreme Court justices. Now he's inspired a Democratic hitman to fly all the way across the country to try to kill one of these justices. Second, Merrick Garland needs to explain why he still refuses to enforce federal law. It is explicitly a violation of federal law to protest in front of the home of a judge or a juror. That happened at numerous justices' homes over the last several weeks. Yet Merrick Garland still is not pursuing charges against any of them. And third, the House of Representatives needs to pass right now this week, the legislation the Senate sent it last month unanimously authorizing security for not just the justices but their families. Just imagine what might have happened if Mrs. Kavanaugh and their children had been home without Justice Kavanaugh present and therefore a police presence. The only thing that apparently deterred this Democratic hitman is the presence of those police officers out front. The Democrats need to act now to ensure that one of our Supreme Court justices are not killed. And finally, as you said, Laura, as I said at the time, I urge the Supreme Court to issue the Dobbs opinion now. However they rule, they need to issue the opinion so Democratic hitmen won't think they can change the court's direction in this case by killing a Supreme Court justice. Yeah, uh, John Roberts has got to just get this together. This, this investigation's dragging on. I'm not sure what the heck's taking so long about the leak or issuing the opinion at this point, but this is for everyone's health and safety. Uh, you might not be surprised about this, Senator Cotton, but CNN was spinning the news today. Watch. Supreme Court justices will certainly be, you know, potentially targeted by violent extremists who are angered over this pending ruling that is poised to strike down Roe v. Wade. This is an extremely passionate issue. There are emotions on both sides. Federal officials have made clear over and over they believe the risk truly comes from both sides. Both sides. Remember, they kept beating Trump up about Charlottesville with the his supposed both sides uh, reference. But how dangerous is that, you know, equivocation um, and moral equivalency, I should say, on this issue? Well, it's the exact kind of danger posed when Chuck Schumer went across the street to the Supreme Court, just blocks from where I stand right now, and threatened Brett Kavanaugh by name, said that he would pay the price and that he wouldn't know what hit him if he went forward with decisions that Chuck Schumer and liberal Democrats didn't like. And now you have a Democratic hitman showing up at Brett Kavanaugh's home or that the White House spokesperson last month said that they encourage these Democratic street militias to go protest at justices' homes. It is high past time for Joe Biden and Merrick Garland to get off their duff and take action to protect our justices. Thank you, Senator. It's great to see you tonight.